James Wan is James the Wine Guy, a mystery before you today. That's called Cabernet Puffeffer, so stay tuned. So I was shopping at a, a local retailer here in San Francisco and I stumbled across this Kenneth Volk wine and it's called Cabernet Puffeffer. And I'll bring this closer so you can see that, San Benito County. Now, I was really fascinated by this because I remember reading an entry and uh, the entry really spoke to me because it's in Jancis Robinson et al's book called Wine Grapes. And um, we have the book right here actually. And uh, you know, the entry on this was very interesting because it mentions Cabernet Puffeffer and it looks like a bona fide uh, entry, which is, um, it mentions this as being a rare peppery California cross. Well, if you follow the, the article, it even gives doubt whether it exists or not. So the, the writers, the authors are not really confirming that it is or is not. And I looked in uh, the Vitus International Variety Catalog, VIVC. There is an entry there, but the entry has no information about this variety whatsoever. It doesn't even list it as a wine grape variety. And I have created my own taxonomy on wine grapes. I really wanted to understand the number. Where, What were those varieties that actually rolled up to the mysterious number of 10,000? And so in order to get that information, I had to create it myself. So in doing so, I actually cross-referenced my own taxonomy. It is listed, however, I removed it because there's no evidence uh, in terms of this being a bona fide wine grape variety. And uh, so to really uh, you know, delve into this mystery further, uh, I will also note that uh, there are two bottlings that I know of, which would be this one right here, Kenneth Volk, as well as uh, DeRose uh, the bottle 100% Puffeffer. Now, supposedly this is a cross between Cabernet Sauvignon and another parent grape that is unknown. Uh, happening here in California in the late 1880s. So this wine grape is named after William Puffeffer. Now he's the uh, the wine grape grower and the, the name Puffeffer itself means pepper. So there's this attribute that, well, this wine is very peppery, which, you know, to a certain degree it is and to a certain degree it is not. Now, anyways, it is, uh, you know, titled Cabernet Puffeffer. Now, uh, apparently this variety goes down due to phylloxera and uh, there's a seedling that comes online uh, though it is not the original vine, it is uh, not identical. So, you know, was the original vine truly Cabernet Puffeffer? Is what we have today in this bottle, for example, Cabernet Puffeffer? It's really hard to tell. So, uh, the writers of uh, Wine Grapes, uh, Chances Robinson et al., had a personal communication with Kenneth Volk, and I just want to get it out in the open. Uh, Kenneth Volk is one of my favorite winemakers. He does such an amazing job with his varieties, and I love his interest in the heirloom varieties. And Kenneth Volk had his DNA tested and found that this grape was actually Gros Verdot. And uh, so that's a very interesting thing because, um, you know, I would suspect, I, I can't find the original filings, I don't think they're even online, but I'd like to know um, TTB would never approve Cabernet Puffeffer if it didn't exist, or at least supposedly exists. Now, in order to get this labeled, you have to get your label approved by TTB. Now, TTB would, uh, of course, you know, think about TTB, Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau. Uh, you know, I wouldn't really say it is, um, you know, the source of truth when it comes to scientific and uh, DNA research to really verify and know those differences. It might rely upon some research done by science. However, so I have sent an email to TTB because I really want to know where is their source of information and where do they get that from? So I'm waiting to hear back and uh, you know I've had questions to TTB before and they have responded so I'm waiting to hear back from them. Uh, ultimately I you know I can only guess maybe uh, Ken Volk had this tested and you know one hypothesis and I, I really need to communicate with Ken Volk to find out you know maybe he submitted this as Gros Verdot and it may have been turned down and it could only be called because of that particular vineyard site um, Cabernet Puffeffer. So it's a fascinating story. It's uh, one of these things where, wow, I have, actually have a bottle of something that is completely either superbly rare or truly doesn't exist or really is a uh, misidentified wine grape. And think about something like Carmenere uh, being uh, once known as Merlot. So it's quite possible that this could be an error on uh, you know TTB's part and following through and never checking through what the variety really is called. So I'm gonna talk about this wine in another video review, so I'll post that right here. So stay tuned for more. This is really fun. I actually enjoyed 
you know, doing some background checking on this and really trying to understand this and really trying to, you know, read between the lines, so to speak, and, uh, you know, really ascertain what this wine is all about. So more subject matter reviews as well as bottle reviews. Who would have thought I would have found this bottle here in San Francisco? That's a really cool thing. You'll find me on most social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you so much for following and stay tuned for more. Salud.